Sai Ram to all of you. Welcome to Shri Satya Sai Lok Seva Gurukulam online classes. Let's learn English series with Mrs. Kalpana Hebleka. So today we are going to learn the format of informal letters. Okay. In the previous class, we have learnt the format of business letter. Now let us see what informal letters can we write. Okay. So format of informal letters. letters now what do you mean by informal for an informal letter there is no particular format to be maintained strictly since it is addressed to a close friend parents grandparents etc okay so that's what i told you now you are in a different place far away from the family and your real uh, friends and buddies so what you have to do you are writing you can't write a business letter to them right so you have to write a informal letter okay so an informal letter there is no particular format to be maintained strictly since it is addressed to close friend parents grandparents etc okay but a simple format is shown so we are showing you a simple format okay now let us see the format address of the sender is optional because it is your mother or your dearest friend grandparent okay they'll be somewhere in and around the house or near by your house so address of the sender or your address is not required okay then date date is required because you know they'll know at which date you are writing right okay dear name of the person so if you are writing dear mom you can write dearest mom and your father okay no need of writing uh, dear lata or if your mother's name is lata then or no need of writing your father's name you know you can write mom and dad or mama and papa whatever you call okay and then body of the letter this is very important body of the start directly with body of the letter okay paragraph 1 the first paragraph what will you write greet and ask for the well being of the person now these people are very close to you right and you are away from them so you have always to ask them how are you or uh, how are everybody in the family or i hope that by god's grace all of you are doing well these are the wordings which you have to put in the first paragraph second paragraph the main reason to write the letter okay now you have won the state award okay in your school for kabaddi so you want to tell your parents and your friend that you know you have uh, won it so you write that that i have won the state award for kabaddi from my school and i'm very happy and i want to inform you about that and then the third paragraph conclusion and end of the letter okay this gives me lot of happiness and to share this news with you and i am feeling that your presence and blessings are always required okay end the letter and yours lovingly you can write yours lovingly but there you have to write yours truly okay here you have to write yours lovingly and then name of the sender or you can write with lots of love and hugs or kisses okay you can write depends on whom you are writing okay name the sender but the same thing you cannot write in a business letter lot of hugs and kisses and that and all you cannot write you can write only to your dear ones okay so this format of informal letter is very important so go through it again and again and keep the format properly make 10 or 20 letters keep writing you know in your notebooks then only you will be perfected with it okay so this is a simple format see the name is there uh, address is there then the date is there here the name whom your your friend okay this is not your mother it's your friend then you are writing thank you very much for your last letter and all this you are writing and then hope to see you soon and your name okay then now we come to thought for the day for loud reading and handwriting practice okay once you have unshakable faith in god you will never ever fear the future thus allowing you to share to sacrifice and in turn to serve others as your very own 
okay this is said by shri madhusudan sai okay i'll repeat again once you have unshakable faith in god you will never ever fear the future thus allowing you to share to sacrifice and in turn to serve others as your very own this is said by shri madhusudan sai i request all of you to write these lines in your cursive writing giving good space between two words and don't scratch when you write okay it gives a bad impression so if you scratch it take a new page write rewrite it again when you are giving to others and then distribute this to as many people as you want okay it is very good and it will make your day and it will make others day too okay so thank you for watching shri sati sai lok seva gurukulam online classes let's learn english series i pray to god to keep you happy and prosperous in all your future endeavors thank you and sign off